Hi, everyone. All of us here at AIPPI are very excited to introduce AIPPI's new online search portal for online resources and publications. On this portal, you'll be able to browse and search thousands of documents uh, going all the way back to the formation of AIPPI in 1897. And what I'd like to do with this video is just shortly show you what features are on the portal and how you can use the advanced search. So without further ado, let's get started. So what you see here is, is sort of the main page of the portal and it has two main elements. One of those is this uh, search bar up here which allows you to enter any keyword or phrase and will then generate uh, results based on that. So that's a very easy way to search. Below you have the featured collections uh, with a set of subcategories that will easily allow you to access specific types of, of documents that might interest you uh, quickly. So just to give a few examples here, as you see, there's one category here called resolutions. And if you click on the main link, that will take you to all resolutions that AIPBI have ever adopted. However, below, you'll see that there's a set of subcategories. So for instance, if you want to see only trademark resolutions, you click on this link. Another interesting uh, category here is the AIPBI World Congresses category which allows you to access all documents pertaining to a specific Congress um, straight away. So for instance, if you click on Cancun, uh, which took place in 2018, all documents relating to that Congress uh, will appear. We also have to the far right here, another category called standing committees. Uh, for which you, under which you'll be able to see all standing committee work. So you see a uh, standing committee publications, annual reports, and, and other documents that you'll, you'll easily be able to access here. Um, so that's, that's sort of the main elements on the main page. However, if you'd like to drill down and really search for you know, a set of specific documents or one specific document, then we encourage you to use the advanced search and as you see here, there are two main links that will take you to that advanced search. Um, once you're there, you'll discover that there are several search variables that you'll be able to use to get or generate the search results that you want. So you can either search by title or type of documents. If you click on type of document, there's actually a drop down menu to help you choose uh, the type of document you want to search on based on what exists in our database. Going further down, you see you'll be able to limit your search by, by date, um, Congress location, um, subjects, and actually the subject um, variable here is very interesting because it allows you to look up uh, the type of, type of subject you want to search by. Um, so you can really narrow your search in that way as well. Um, you see a language is not a variable and Q number is also interesting because it does allow you to search by a specific Q number and all study question documents since the beginning of AIPBI will have a delegated Q number. So if you search for one that will give you all you know resolutions, uh, study guidelines, summary reports, and so forth for that specific number. And the last one here is, is a reference number that you can search by. So that's about it for the advanced search. Um, and for our little tour here, please let us know if you have any feedback, comments on the new search portal. Um, yes, I hope we hope you enjoy it. Thank you.